and thank you for watching KSAN News. I'm Isabel Albritton. Topping our news at 5, today is Election Day, and we are keeping you updated with everything you need to know heading into the polls and results as they trickle in. Now, as you can see here, people have been lining up outside the polling locations all day waiting for their turn to cast their ballot, some waiting in line even before the doors opened at 7 o'clock this morning. Now, the polls will be open until 7 o'clock tonight. There are a total of 18 locations here in San Angelo. For a full list of those locations, you can visit ContraValleyHomePage.com or the Tom Green County website. Texas citizens will be voting for the governor, lieutenant governor, attorney general, land commissioner, comptroller commissioner, and agriculture commissioner. All of these state positions will serve a four-year term. Now, starting off with one of the biggest races on the ballot, Republican incumbent Greg Abbott is being challenged by Democratic candidate Beto O'Rourke for governor of Texas. Both candidates have campaigned heavily across the Lone Star State heading into the midterms. Both have even made stops here in San Angelo while on the campaign trail. Now, Abbott and O'Rourke have focused on education policies, gun control, and uh, the ongoing border issues. Now, work has also challenged Abbott's response to the Valley School shooting and the power grid failure during the 2021 storm, uh, snowstorm. Now, Abbott is looking to secure his third term as governor while his opponents are challenging the seat that has been held by a Republican since 1995. Libertarian Mark Tippett and Delilah Barrios for the Green Party are also running for a Texas governor. Governor Greg Abbott will be having his election watch party in McAllen, while Beto O'Rourke will be in his hometown of El Paso. We'll hear from them later on in the show. Republican incumbent Dan Patrick is looking to secure his third term against Democratic challenger Mike Collier for lieutenant governor. Collier has been endorsed by many high-profile Texas Republicans. This is the second time he has challenged the seat. Collier lost to Patrick in the 2018 midterm elections by 5% of the vote. Republican incumbent Ken Paxton is being challenged by Democratic candidate Rochelle Mercedes Garza for Attorney General. As Paxton fights to keep his seat for a, t a third term, his opponent is working just as hard to be the first Democrat to hold the position in decades. Residents will also see that Re Representative August Fluger is on the ballot running for U.S. Representative of District 11. Fluger also has no one opposing him on the ballot. As we continue to break down all of the races, it's important to understand the positions you are voting for and the responsibilities that come with those seats. Tonight, we dive into three key positions, Tom Green County Judge, U.S. Representative for District 11, and the Texas Commissioner of Agriculture. Let's watch. Republican Lane Carter is facing off against independent writing candidate Dr. Gary Jenkins for Tom Green County Judge. This is the only election taking place in Tom Green County. So what does the county judge do? The county judge presides over the commissioner's court, the way mayors preside over city councils. A county judge can also issue disaster declarations to request aid from other agencies and to enact emergency measures as allowed under law. This gives county judges a lot of power during emergencies, but they must be supported by the commissioner's court in order to continue emergency declarations and measures. Despite the title, county judges do not have to be judges or have a legal background. Representative August Fluger is on the ballot running for U.S. Representative of District 11. Fluger also has no one opposing him on the ballot. So what does the House of Representatives do? Well, the U.S. House of Representatives makes and passes federal laws. Representatives introduce bills and resolutions, offer amendments, and serve on committees. Each representative is elected for a two-year term serving the people of a specific congressional district. Republican incumbent Sid Miller and Democratic candidate Susan Hayes are going head-to-head -head in the race for Texas Commissioner of Agriculture. Both candidates say they want to better Texas, but both have completely different ideas of how to get that job done. This position is responsible for exercising the powers and performing the duties assigned to the Department of Agriculture. It's more than just farming and food production for the state. They also oversee forestry, pest control, food safety, and even state agricultural events for their constituents. The Commissioner of Agriculture is elected for a four-year term. For your KSAN News, I'm Isabel Albritton.